itself out. <laughs> this is called Husk. They tore down the Friendly's restaurant in my hometown. It had been closed for over a decade. Windows and doors boarded up a husk of what it once was. Inside those walls, I am 10 years old. Inside those walls, I'm smiling over a clown Sunday. Younger attendees turn to the older attendees. They will explain that to you. Inside those walls, all of my grandparents are still alive. Inside those walls, my mother has not received the cancer diagnosis that will eventually end her life. And if I never finish this Sunday, I never have to leave. I can stay 10 years old forever. My grandparents never have to die. My mother never gets cancer. They can't tear something down if there's still people inside of it, right? The all-ages venues I attended punk shows at as a teenager all closed. I watched my friends play punk rock on those stages. They cut their hands wide open on guitar strings, and they just kept playing because when you are young, all you want to do is keep playing before the first bullshit job, the first drink, the first pill, the first bump, the first time death tasted so sweet. It could be mistook for invincibility. I often find myself wondering the lead singer of my favorite local band growing up tasted invincibility on his tongue when he used stolen spoons and needles to try and silence all that hell growing inside of him. He traded the Midwest to the Pacific Northwest and they never had clown Sundays in Portland and it still makes me wonder how thin the line between PTSD and nostalgia can get for some of us. When your entire life is landmarks being torn down. How do you find anything to hold on to? How do you find anything resembling security when you never learned what security was in the first place? Is addiction the first thing to ever hold you and promise it will never let you go? That it will stay with you in sickness and in health till death do you part, until your friends leave you an empty shell, a husk they forgot ever existed in a state of neglect until the day they mourn the structure because they learned that it has been torn down. And I have to think that they couldn't have torn it down if there were still people living in it. Right? Yeah.